This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. A Texas 7 fugitive was executed by Texas Wednesday. WFAA.com reports from Huntsville. One of the infamous Texas 7 fugitives was executed Wednesday night. Donald Newberry was sentenced to die for the murder of a North Texas police officer on Christmas Eve in 2000. Newberry's life has been spared once before when a stay was issued one week before he was supposed to die in 2012. His defense team made a last-ditch effort to save his life this time by appealing to the Supreme Court, arguing that his trial lawyer failed to show that he suffered psychological damage from childhood abuse. Newberry and six other inmates staged the state's largest prison break in 2000. They broke into a sporting goods store on Christmas Eve and shot and killed a 29-year-old Irving police officer. They were captured a few weeks later in Colorado. Newberry has a lengthy criminal record. He was serving 99 years for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon from Travis County at the time of his escape. And since arriving on death row in 2002, he's been pegged for 55 other crimes. Three more of the Texas Seven remain on death row. Another killed himself to avoid capture. Two have already been executed. Steroid testing on Texas teenagers is likely to be canceled. WFAA.com reports from McKinney. Seven years after it started, it appears high school athletics in Texas will no longer face the threat of a random steroid test. Texas lawmakers appear to be done with the program that has so far yielded very few results. At issue is whether random testing really works. In the 2013-14 school year, 2,633 high school athletes were checked for anabolic steroids. When testing began in 2007, it had a budget of about $6 million, but that figure has dwindled ever since. Last year, the budget for it dropped to $1 million. In order to eliminate funding, it will require a legislator to introduce a bill and get it passed this season. A mistake leads to a landmark tree near Dallas being cut down. The Associated Press reports from Dallas. The largest black willow tree in Texas has been accidentally cut down in White Rock Lake, area of Dallas. A Dallas Park and Recreational Department official said the 170-year-old black willow was mistakenly cut down by a contract crew grinding tree stumps. The crew made the decision to cut down the tree without consulting anyone. The black willow was designated the species champion by the Texas Registry four years ago. It was 47 feet high and had a girth of 265 inches. Another black willow has replaced the felled tree as state champion, according to the Texas A&M Forestry Service. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.